it's Deligracy here, obviously, and welcome to a brand new video. I'm really excited because today's video is going to be another Barbie themed video. We are making the brand new Barbie and her sisters for my brand new Barbie Let's Play. So yeah, we're gonna get into it. I said in my last video when I built the Barbie dream house the other day, I'll link that in the description down below, that I really wanted to be able to have face cam on these last few videos I'm recording because I'm away at the moment and I always feel so distant from you guys when I'm not recording as the videos go out. So, hello, it's me. I'm dressed for Barbie in purple to celebrate and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video of just creating Barbie. So Barbie's actually looking pretty different um, in this series compared to my last Barbie series and I'm really, really curious to see what you guys think of her because I'm for the first time ever actually using a skin custom content filter to make her look a lot more like a doll. So the filter we're using is actually going to kind of almost mattify the face, flatten it a little bit so the eyes look a little bit flatter. I've definitely gone for the eye shape that doesn't have much depth to them, like they're sticking out a bit more because I want it to look like that, you know, printed Barbie eye that you see on the dolls. Her neck is going to be super, super thin and she's going to have kind of a squarish jawline, but a very oval face. And yeah, I just can't wait for you guys to see her because I just had so much fun creating her and her sisters. Um, and hopefully you guys approve because there's a lot of different ways you can create a Barbie lookalike in The Sims 4 and it's actually pretty hard, but I highly suggest if you guys want a little like fun Sims challenge or something like that, why don't you try and make a Barbie doll or try and make a brat doll or try and make a character because um, it's, I don't know, it's just a good time. It's always fun to challenge yourself. Now, of course, in this Let's Play, I am using more custom content than usual. I really wanted to go all out and just test the waters in the custom content community with what, I guess, what's the word? Like what lengths we could go to, to create the ultimate Barbie sim, I suppose. So we're using some highlight here. I did download some special Barbie lips, but I was like, no girl, <laughs> I'm not using those. So I'm just going to the classic lips that I love to use, which I think is linked on my Tumblr page. So I'll try and remember to link that down below if you guys see any of the custom content here that you like, as well as the lashes. Uh, unfortunately, the eyes that I wanted to use, I didn't have the correct like vibrant eye color for her. So I do need to download probably um, like the extra colors in that pack. And like me, she has some pinky eyeshadow on today. I love how glossy the lips are. And I actually, for this skin filter, I tried using it on my normal Sims quite some time ago. And the thing I didn't like about it was the collarbone. I just really didn't like how the collarbone is so distinct. And I felt like, for Sims that weren't really quite skinny, the collarbone stuck out too much. But for the Barbie doll, I think it's perfect because it looks a little bit more plasticky. So this is pretty much the face all done and she does have very light eyebrows. I think in the past I might've made my Barbie doll have dark black eyebrows, I can't recall, but in this I decided we'll go with the light thin ones. The eyebrows, I do not believe are custom content. The only custom content we're using right now is obviously the skin filter, the hair, the lips, the eyeshadow and the lashes. And her body, like obviously everyone knows Barbie's body is super unrealistic. She has teeny tiny feet. I believe they say if you had the proportions of Barbie within a real life person, she wouldn't be able to walk because her body was like so tiny and <laughs> she couldn't hold all of her organs or something like that. So very unrealistic unre waist and breasts and tiny little legs, very twiggy, but she looks like a turtle doll. So it's perfect. And with her hair in the TV show, Life in the Dream House, Barbie Life in the Dream House, she usually has her hair like up in this really big iconic kind of ponytail that flicks up at the ends. And I didn't actually go searching for custom content for that hairstyle just because I like the idea of Barbie just having straight long hair or being able to put it up in different ways. So yeah, we're trying out a few different hairs here. A few of the custom content hairs you're seeing, I'm actually not happy with in my game. A few of them I don't think look very good at all. So I'm gonna remove some of them. So if you guys are thinking, what is she putting in her game? Um, not all of it I'm keeping. It was kind of just to test it out. And this dress, I actually, I actually downloaded a couple of dresses 
um, their custom content specifically for this Let's Play. And this is one of the dresses and the pink one you saw before is one of them as well. And I just thought they were so extra. And because we've done so many seasons of Barbie in the past and kind of utilized all of the pink clothes possible and Barbie-like clothes possible, I was like, we have to, we have to get some new clothes in here. Like we just need more options. And Barbie always has lots of options. So yeah. That is pretty much her coming together. I think she looks pretty cute. And her lashes are definitely much more extra than you guys would see on the actual Barbie doll or in the show. But the thing with Barbies is the lashes go out at the sides and not so much in the middle and inner corner. So I couldn't find lashes that just went out at the side, but I think they still look good anyway. And she does have a lot of eyeliner on as well because her eyes are outlined like the stickers or the print on the Barbie doll. So I was thinking about all of those things. And my favorite look for Barbie is actually going to be like a slick purple look with her hair and a ponytail. I love it. I think it's coming up soon. And if it's not shown here, oh yeah, here it comes. This is my favorite Barbie look. I think she looks so good with like her hoop earrings. I kind of wish I had my ears pierced just so I could wear hoop earrings. I love hoop earrings on girls. I think they look so like, I don't know, just so flattering for the face shape and beautiful. I love hoop earrings. It reminds me of that quote in Mean Girls where Gretchen is like, my mom bought me these beautiful white gold hoop earrings and I couldn't keep them because I'm such a good friend. And Regina said they were her thing. Like Barbie probably doesn't let her friends wear hoop earrings. But she would though, because in the TV show, she's really nice. So obviously she's going to be a friend of the world. She's cheerful. She's ambitious. She's a good sim. Um, we're definitely going with the Barbie theme. I remember in my original first series, I actually made Barbie evil because I thought it would be so funny if we made Barbie like really stuck up and evil because that's kind of how I saw the Barbie character when I was younger. And... It turns out that was like major and you guys in the comments or some of you guys were like, you can't make Barbie evil. Like that is not Barbie at all. So we got rid of that. <laughs> she's, a, she's a good singer, sim in this Let's Play too. And then this is her sister Skipper and Skipper is the eldest sister and she's known to be kind of into gaming, electronics, computers, music. So I gave her the geek trait, um, to be a bit geeky because obviously she likes gaming and she's a good sim as well and her style is really difficult to actually portray in the sims 4 it's a little like for barbie standards a little on the tomboy side but obviously it's still really extra and she has a lot of star patterns on her clothes she kind of wears this like leggings with a longer top skirt kind of number in the tv show and there just wasn't anything that I could really pick that would go with that. So I do do a bit of layering with leggings and skirts and it does make her look a little bit younger, which I think works for a character. Um, and Stacy, who's the next youngest sister who will make after Skipper, she's actually like a preteen stage, not like a teenager. So the height has to be the same in The Sims 4, which sucks. So it's actually kind of a little bit of a challenge to make her look, I suppose, younger than Skipper. So we'll see that in a second. And of course we have little Chelsea at the end. And you guys will also notice that I've just repeated the Barbie doll face and made slight changes because that's what the dolls are like. Obviously, when they're mass producing dolls, they have molds, which is super expensive to create at factories. So they're not going to make like a brand new mold for every single Barbie doll. They actually come from a similar face shape with just some little tweaks. Um, so I decided to repeat that in this in this game. So they do look repetitive. They do look like dolls. And I think that's true to the, to the Barbie theme. So yeah, this is Skipper coming along now. She's got her leggings, lots of vibrant colors. Obviously I was trying to figure out what would layer and look okay. And I was actually really struggling with it. And she wears headphones around her neck a lot in the show. So it was easy to give her some like leggings and some headphones around her neck. Like she can just whip them on and do her music thing or whatever. We also could have given her the creative trait too, because um, she does mention that she wants to be a DJ in the TV show. Uh, and she has like a DJ off with, I think, ooh, who does she have a DJ off? I think with Nikki. Was it Nikki? Oh, maybe it wasn't Nikki, I can't remember. 
Anyway, she's clearly got some interest in music, so yeah, it's a little bit tricky to choose. And I think the clothing that suits her best is probably when she has the off the shoulder top. It's like pink and purple with the tank underneath. You'll see in the screenshots at the end, that's probably most true to her character because it's just, she's gotta be super vibrant and still seem like quite a young girly tomboy teenager. You get what I mean. Anyway, I hope you guys approve. And I thought I would give her like an A-line aqua skirt too, because she does seem to wear a lot of blue colors. She does seem to wear a bit of black juxtaposed aside, like the hot pink, the aqua and the yellow. Uh, and she doesn't wear a suit. That was before I went on to uh, do her other outfits. So here is Stacey Roberts, and if you do want to see the other outfits, you'll have to tune into the Let's Play, because all of them have, like, all of the characters in the Barbie Let's Play are going to have multiple outfits. They're all going to have their formal wear, their pajamas, you know, multiple everyday outfits. So I've kind of gone all out for this, and I will be making another video that will probably come out tomorrow that will be creating Barbie's friends. So we're going to make Ken, we're going to make... Um, Raquel and Nikki and Midge and all of those guys if you're familiar with them so if you guys want to see more creator sim doll version Barbie theme uh, we're going all out with Barbie on the channel for a little while and if you guys hate Barbie then I'm sorry but just let me have this little moment of excitement on the channel because I love making Barbie sims <laughs> Anyway, Stacey, obviously when you age a sim from an adult to a teenager, their face changes quite dramatically and they always seem to get like a much shorter face. Like the distance between their mouth and their chin seems to just be shortened all of a sudden. Uh, I don't know why, but that's what happens. So I actually did have to make quite a few changes to her face. And I'm actually thinking we'll have aging turned off for the Sims in this Let's Play, uh, since dolls don't really age. I thought that would probably be good. I don't even know if you can turn aging off. I suppose you can. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can. And Stacey, her character on the TV show, is she's all about like, go, go, go. She loves planning events. She always like has a little planner, iPad thing out. And she also seems to like being active and sports. So I definitely wanted her to have a sporty aspiration, which is the bodybuilder one. So she may develop a six pack. Um, and she's also self-assured, which I thought kind of suited that idea. And if you've watched the speed build, her room has like the parenthood, a scheduling wall and like lots of pin boards around her room so it looks like she's been organizing things and I think that fits her perfect her character perfectly her perfect character perfectly <laughs> and then last of all of course we have little Chelsea and Chelsea gosh she was really hard to make in the sims I did not realize that the lashes weren't available for kids so um Kelly, not Kelly, Chelsea, I always call her Kelly. Chelsea always seems to have really big lashes and she does wear a little bit of lip gloss in the show and she has these huge pigtails and I just couldn't recreate the lip gloss as a kid and I couldn't, I think I gave her like just a sheen of lip gloss that seemed to be in the kids section, but I couldn't give her those lashes. So I'm not super happy with Chelsea, how she's turned out. She looks more like a sim compared to everyone else. And I'm not even sure if that skill, that skin filter works on kids either. So it's a bit annoying. I think we might have to modify her a bit throughout the let's play. If you guys link me to some kids lashes or things that you think will improve her look to appear more like the Chelsea doll in the show. That would be cool. And of course, Chelsea is like super upbeat, super cute, super pink. So she, I thought would suit aspiring to be a social butterfly and being cheerful. And hopefully we can get some other, you know, Kelly and the little boy dolls. Uh, if you guys create them on the gallery, that would be pretty cool. And I mean, I love all of these <laughs> super cute clothes that we're putting her in. I think they're very adorable. So I had a lot of fun just going super extra with the pink and the cutesy stuff like the bunny slippers and onesies and all of that good stuff. There's a lot of really cute kids content in the game. So 
yeah, it was nice to utilize it all. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without the pets in the Barbie dream house. So we are going to be making, oh, their names are like Taffy. No, it's Taffy the horse. I'll write their names in just a little while, but they have like a golden Labrador dog and a cat, which is like a white fluffy cat. And the cat breed from the TV show isn't available in the Sims 4 game. So I just made like a really fluffy cat. And okay, so the dog's name is Taffy. Taffy is a dog. All right. And Taffy has a pink collar. I wish I almost made Taffy a puppy, but then the puppy was too small. So I don't know. Maybe I should have gone the puppy and just waited for Taffy to age up. Maybe we'll age Taffy down. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, because I, I got a little bit confused. And here is oh, Blissa. Is it Blissa? Okay. I forget the name of the pets. Um, I went with actually a Himalayan cat because I thought it looked super fluffy and cute and I love Himalayan cats, but um, we make all the fur white. We make a few body modifications, which we're doing right now. And I actually thought it'd be fun to paint the tail pink at the end in like a pink ombre just to add a little bit of flair to the, to the let's play and just have a bit of fun. So we do make a little ombre tail there, just a little deli extra addition there. Um, and yeah, Blissa looks pretty cute. And Blissa is sometimes a little bit cheeky. She can get angry really quickly. So she does have, I think a cheeky trait or something along those lines in a second. And what else? I think she she's loyal and affectionate. Oh, spoiled, which suits her really well. So here are the screenshots, you guys. This is the new Barbie Melissa, Melissa Roberts, I think her name is. Um, here's her in her like onesie, my favorite purple outfit. I absolutely love that purple outfit. And hopefully you guys approve. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of these characters. And do keep an eye out for the friends tomorrow, the friends we're creating. And let me know what you want to happen in the Let's Play, all of that good stuff. I can't wait to read all of your comments. And keeping in mind, I am in LA right now. So if I'm not super responsive, responsive really quickly, um, it's because some of this is being pre-recorded, the Let's Play already. And when I'm back, I can implement all of your ideas and it can be more of a team effort and we can just have fun and play Barbie and it's gonna be so good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm excited. Oh, she's so adorable, isn't she? And there's the little, the little kitty cat. It kind of makes me want to have a cat now. Anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'm super excited to see what you think. And I will speak to you soon. Susu. So, so.